hello guys you're welcome to this video tutorial again this is iniski designs and in this tutorial i'll be showing you the step-by-step -step process of creating this awesome 100 percent editable test effect so without further ado let's go right into the video Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do now is to clear this. Yeah, I'm going to clear this away since I'm not going to be using this. Okay, so you see, this is going to be a very short tutorial and very simple, very, very simple. So I'll just go to a fresh template. Okay, I will go to a fresh template. Then the next thing I'm going to do now is to change my background sound, um, background size, background size. Sorry. So now I will just tap on this. Please follow my cursor carefully. Follow my cursor carefully. Okay, so you just tap on this. Then you click on image size. Then you tap on this and you go and you click on YouTube thumbnail. YouTube thumbnail. You get that YouTube thumbnail. The size is one two. Sorry, the size is one two eighty seven twenty one two eighty seven twenty one two eighty for the width and seven twenty for the height. So, but instead of wasting your time trying to to know the the exact figures for the width and height, you can just click on um YouTube thumbnail. Okay, then tap on OK, and our background size is ready okay so the next thing now is to change the background color that's the first thing we are going to be doing in this tutorial and that is also very simple just click on this look at this look at this you can see color right so just tap on the color yes then click on the gradient yeah tap on gradient and click on plus okay so then um yeah we are going to just we are going to be going with this we are not going to tamper with anything here but if your own is not like this but this it's supposed to be like this but if it's not like this then just click on this just tap on no sorry just tap on this look at it look at this part uh, this second um we like call it template now okay just tap on this then tap on this particular node and tap on this then the color code we'll be using is no sorry the color code we'll be using for this is fc85 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 03 then mark it all right so this is the color this is the color just tap on okay yes then then okay okay then the next thing i should tap on this particular particular node this one then tap on this then the color code you'll be using for this particular one is ffb ffb 600 600 okay then mark it okay all right then okay so then click on okay yeah yeah then you now click on this after after you are done with this then you now click on this particular one look at this and then you tap on this you tap on this okay then you tap on this node and shift it yes then tap on okay then our background is ready okay so our background is ready just tap on mark and the next thing we are going to do now is to bring in our test yeah our test just tap on this a and tap on plus yes our test is thanks thanks yeah that's what i'll be using but you can use it for any well i'm going to the, the php template file is going to be available for you in the description box so you are going to get it too okay done then okay so then drag it to the center and increase the size increase the size to two yeah increase the size to 250 255 where's it size 
increase it to 255 okay you can still increase it here size yeah 255 255 okay the market so this is this is the test okay then come to font go to font go to your font and the font you'll be using is cartwheel cartwheel next yeah this is the font look at it cartwheel cartwheel okay just tap on it and click on ok so this is it this is our test here then align it to the center using relative position just tap on it tap on this and tap on this okay so you, you position it to the center correctly then the next thing you are going to do now is to come to spacing yeah under spacing just um, reduce the spacing to minus three um yeah minus three is okay minus three is okay then ensure it is still well positioned ensure it is well positioned then mark it all right so now the next thing you are going to do to this is to copy this just copy it then you can hide this you can hide this for now we are not going to be using it we are, we'll first work on this so now what you do to this now is the first thing you are going to do to it is to stroke it just go to stroke yeah stroke it enable the stroke yeah and increase the stroke width to 31 yeah just leave the stroke width at 31 31 yeah 31 is okay then change the, the stroke color we're using gradient for the stroke color we're using gradient for it just tap on gradient and tap on plus all right tap on gradient and tap on the plus and once you get this don't tamper with all this this time around you are not going to tamper with anything here this time around just tap on this tap on this particular node tap on this then sorry then tap on this so the color code you'll be using for this is fcc fccc zero zero no number zero 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 fccc fccc zero zero then mark it yeah this is the color just tap on ok then ok then the next thing is to tap on this other node tap on this also then tap on this um this place to type in your color code and the color code for this is ff zero nine one one okay then mark it okay and okay so this is the color that we have here this is the color that we have here don't tap out anything just tap on okay yes so this is the this is our um this is our test yeah we are moving gradually okay so the next thing you are going to do now is to click on shadow is to enable shadow just tap on shadow and enable shadow then for the shadow the color code you're using for the shadow is tap on plus tap on this to type in your color code the color code you'll be using is 5e 5e0 e 0 e sorry not not zero um not o but zero not letter o but but zero okay so yeah we are done with that just tap on this okay then okay so this is our shadow but one but you are still going to work on it you're going to reduce the opacity to 72 72 just reduce it to 72 yes 72 then the blur radius you are going to increase it to 13 yeah then you're going to don't tamper with this of the um offset x don't tamper with your offset x but you are going to move your up, um offset y to six increase it to six yeah our offset y you increase it to six then mark it okay so another thing you are going to do to this particular test now is to enable 3d test enable 3d test please follow me carefully you are going to enable 3d test just tap on 3d test and click on enable then um change it from perspective to oblique tap on oblique yes tap on oblique you see the difference tap on oblique then reduce this depth to four reduce this depth to four 
then um then increase the darken that's um yes so increase this um darken to 50 to 60 rather sorry 60 yeah to 60 then one thing you are going to do now is to come down to stimulate lightning and disable it you see that come down to stimulate lightning and disable it then bring down your oblique angle to 270 270 all right yes yeah, 270 so the first thing you are going to do under this now is to change it from perspective to oblique then increase um, reduce your depth to four then come to darken and increase the darken to 60 then okay then um take your oblique angle to 270 270 and that should be all for this okay so the next thing you are going to do now is to um enable this particular test again now this is the test we are going to be working on now so just this is this is the test so just ensure that it is well positioned to the center then also work on the background ensure that the background is well positioned because in the course of editing it and there are times it may have to um leave the original position that we've set it to be so just tap on your relative position and do this from time to time to ensure that you are producing a perfect work okay yeah just ensure that you produce a, a, a perfect work all right just tap on plus now and let's continue you can lock this other test so that it won't it won't um, move while working on this one so now this is the test we want to edit now this is the test we'll be working on now so the first thing you are going to do to this test now yeah the first thing you are going to do to the test is to yeah okay yeah to change the color but before changing the color one thing you are going to do now is to enable shadow yeah the first thing you are going to do to the test is to enable shadow and position it here so now the shadow is yeah just come down come down and where is it yeah click on shadow and enable shadow yeah enable shadow then for the shadow yeah for the shadow you are going to um um okay yes so for the shadow yeah for the shadow you are going to yeah change the color code to yeah just tap on this plus the same way then tap on this then tap on color code yes so you are going to change the color code to a40 a40 b zero b mark it yeah this is it look at it a40 b zero b then okay then okay okay so the next thing you are going to do now is to um don't tamper with the don't tamper with the offset x but then move this offset y to three increase it to three yes increase it to three then for the blur radius you are going to reduce it to two you see that reduce the blur radius to two the opacity leave it at 100 percent the blur radius leave it at two then outer glow you will enable outer glow for this note don't enable outer glow for the test in the background yeah that is that we edited that we enable 3d test for don't enable outer glow for the shadow but for this other test that you'll be placing on it you are going to enable outer glow okay so yes so now the obesity is at 100 percent the blurry dust are to the outer glow the outer glow is enabled don't tamper with the offset x2 then the offset y will be at three okay yes so that that is done so now the next thing is to work on the color for this particular um test yeah for this particular test then the color for it is just tap on color then we are going to be using a gradient color for it also tap on gradient but this time around is going to be technical in a way not really technical but follow me carefully at this point follow me carefully just tap on plus then don't don't um don't tap on, don't touch anything here don't tap out anything here then after doing the just tap on this yeah this particular node and change it to just white pure white yeah just white yeah just white then okay 
so the next thing is now to tap on this other node tap on this and change the the um color to the color code is f f f f f f 4 e c f f f 4 e c then mark it okay okay but this time around you are not going you are not just going to tap on okay you are going to do some some things on it and what you will do is tap on this note tap on this note then bring it here tap on this other one then bring it here you see that let them form a, a sharp line yeah a sharp line actually yes all right something like this then tap on okay and let's see all right yeah this is what we want but still want to increase it up a bit yeah just increase it a bit tap on this other one too and increase it okay no this particular color needs to be down so you have to you have to work on it here yeah, this is it yeah okay all right yeah this is what we have then mark it yeah the goal is for this this line to be at the middle yeah to be at the middle of this um look at it this particular line this sharp line to be at the middle yeah as much as possible to be at the middle of the test and that is what sorry yeah and that is what we've just done so we are not done yet the next thing i'm going to do now to this is to enable in um, inner shadow that's for this test not this other one we are done we are done with editing this one just tap on this and come to inner shadow come to inner shadow with it yeah tap on inner shadow and enable inner shadow for it yeah the color code for the inner shadow is just tap on plus tap on this and the color code is E D E D E D E D E D E D yeah this is it E D E D E D then back then mark it yeah this is it this is the um color for dinner shadow okay okay yeah so that's our inner shadow but we are not done with it we are not done with it the the blurry dots will be at zero yeah the blurry dots will be at zero then the offset x will be at three increase the offset x to three then offset y to two yeah not three two yes yeah and we've got this just mark it so we are done with that then the next thing you are going to do is to stroke this test see this test so just come to stroke where stroke yeah this is stroke just stroke it enable the stroke and pick color white no color white yeah this is the color pure white yeah this is the color then let's leave it at three yeah leave the stroke at three yes this is amazing this is amazing and here is our design yeah yes our design wow this is um the test effect rather yeah the, here's the test if uh, this is this is really really beautiful this is amazing okay so i hope you've learned one or two things the the plp template for this um test effect will be available in the description box below okay it will be available in the description box below so i would love you to share this tutorial with with um your friends share them with other designers that you know and don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the like button ensure that you also turn on the notification bell in case i do drop new tutorial all right so i'm going to see you in the next video